Okay, so as of today, the uh, 27th of November, I have discontinued my first unit. I have stopped the experiment. Um, as you can see, you've seen up to day nine before, and what I've done now, I then hooked up a halogen lamp instead of a fan, and ever since the consumption was about 9,200 watts per day. Here was a little peak of 300 watts more, but basically really consistent. I didn't see any drop. I also removed one of the capacitor sets on this side, over here, um, on the load side, and I measured for two more days. And then today I measured 9, 220, which means uh, for me, there has been absolutely no result for the first unit. So it could be because of the coils being wound the incorrect way. It could be because the nano coating uh, now appears to be a different story again and we need to nano coat and then um, put these uh, charge on or the multi multi volt meter on it on 200 ohms or something um, I don't know but uh, it's clear to me that after you know 14 15 16 days uh, a little bit more like 17 days or something in total uh, we have no result here so I'm gonna go and stop this I already did and uh, I'm going to continue with my second unit and I'm going to make a third, fourth and probably fifth unit with single coils and I'll go into that in a bit. So like I said as of today I have uh, disconnected my unit, uh, my first unit completely. I uh, consider there to be absolutely no plasma or anything going on at all in my first unit. That could be like I said because of several reasons including reasons of unclarity and new stuff going on all the time with Kesha and changes and things that and reasons why things don't work but this is this is the coil set basically the first one I had with the small balls in it the small Gans balls and basically now as of today they're gonna be discontinued and just to show you the inside of the coils the way I made them this was my setup as you can see with the small um, pellet in the middle of the paintball pellet and this is the result for the the nano coating remember people I kept these um, see-through tubes to take a look at these this this and this is the amount of nano coating that occurred basically nothing I mean if you take a brand new wire that I cut today and compare it to this one there's barely anything going on in fact the copper wires that I have laying around uh, in the air, uh, exposed to the air, and I am on a Caribbean uh, island, so it is a bit salty air, are more um, blackened than these are. So this is the see-through that I had around it, and it certainly doesn't look like there's any nano coating that happened there. So as of today, this unit is going out of service. Um, I will be doing uh, new experiments. For, uh, this is, by the way, the uh, capacitor set that I had, it never heated up. So for those who um, said, you know, well, we can't have the plastic around it or the rubber around it, the shrink tube. Well, to me, it didn't heat up. At the 500 watt halogen lamp, which heats up a lot, you know those lamps, you can burn yourself on them. And this thing never heated up, not even close, not even anything. It was really cold, in fact. So that's that one. That This system is now officially out of service. And then what I'm going to do now is I've made several different um, single coils because on the last workshop I saw with Mr. Keshe, there was supposedly somebody who had a system working where the meter stopped. I saw the video uh, of the meter running on the air conditioning, of, um, sorry, the uh, fridge and a fan and I think some computer stuff and lights as well. And the, the meter came to a complete stop. So I don't know if that's authentic and real and what, what's a, if the meter may be not the cause of... Uh, just stopping maybe the meters just being screwed up with the, by the system but basically what he was doing he only had one coil one coil set of course there's four coils here uh, but he only had one of those so why the hell would I make another three of these these you know and spend so much time and and, co and copper and everything on and GANs I'm from this moment on I'm just going to test a few single coils and if I see any results then at least we know the principle works but I'm not going to continue making three stackers all the time that don't work I already have two 
Actually, I have three, but the other one's never operational. So what I did is I made uh, several new ones with the more, um, this, the more compact system. And this is one that's already completely hooked up. So this way, the entire system is hooked up before nano coating. Right? And so basically, uh, I could hook it up, put it in here. I'm going to drill a, a disc a little bit bigger so that the, the um, GANS ball will go in the middle with the ping pong uh, ball with GANS filled. And I'm going to nano coat this in such a way that I'm not going to do it with caustic anymore. What I'm going to do now is now apparently the new story in the in this field now is that you have to nano coat them preferably for the McGraths with um, the gas torch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gas torch them. And basically what they've been trying to say from what I understand so far is you basically put your meter, your voltmeter, you put it on. 200 ohms right there and then what I'm going to do instead of nano coating first and then putting it on I'm going to put alligator clips on these basically this is my negative and this is my positive they say the flow doesn't matter but I'm going to keep it the way these things are I'm going to hook these up to alligator clips and then this one on to the magnetic a exit this is the gravitational entrance and I'm going to hook it up to this magnetic the plus here to the, mag um, the magnetic side and then I'm going to nano coat them with the, with the gas torch while it's hooked up to that system. So just to avoid the heat from getting to my, my cables here of my um, voltmeter, I'm going to put some, uh, you know, like about uh, two feet of copper wire with your, um, the clips on it. I'll show that probably later. This one here is uh, 81 turns and the outer is uh, 126, I think. Yeah. 81 and 126 so uh, again a ratio of 9 and this one here is um, 72 and 117 and this one I haven't hooked up yet what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to take them completely out and I'm going to nano coat each coil with uh, separately not being inside of the other I'm going to do it separately also hooking them up but I'll make a video of that later but uh, that way I can make different things and this one will be sitting in a PVC cup I made this PVC cup here this is just one of those end pieces this one can sit in here and my GANS ball can go in the middle there I'll hook it up a little bit like that oh, this guy wants to go to the McGrath I think there you go no he's already gone he says it doesn't work but um, so that's what I got for now uh, this one I'm gonna make another one like this and what I want to do is I want to basically put the entire thing inside here and I'm just gonna fill it completely with GANs just just top it off with GANs I'm gonna have the cables uh, sticking out the wires sticking out to the top once they're wound up and it's nano coated and everything I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna just fill the whole damn thing up with GANs I'm gonna lift it off a little bit off the ground so it's right at the middle somewhere in the middle here I want this entire thing to be, you know, right in the middle of the uh, PVC. And I'm just going to fill the whole damn thing up with GANS. So this will be like a GANS disc with one coil set inside. So I'm going to do at least uh, these one, two, three more. And, uh, and see which one will work. But I'm not going to do three stackers anymore because until I got something working, I'm not going to keep wasting all that energy and time um, on this thing until it's proven to be so. All right, see you guys later.